Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational 420 where we give you the most in-depth reviews as efficiently as possible. And today we're gonna be checking out this cookie jar cartridge by one of my favorites once again, Blue Root. <laughs> And as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of cartridges, but Indigo Pro really kind of got me into the whole cartridge thing. And I'm like, okay, so if Indigo Pro is good, I might as well give one of my favorite companies a shot and see if maybe the products have gotten better over the years. Um, I've never ever tried a cartridge from these guys. I think this is one, some of their first run. Um, if it's not, somebody I'm sure will correct me. But with all that, let's go ahead and hop right into the numbers. So THC comes in at 85.97. Total THC is 85.97. So this is a distillate. Um, sometimes the liquids in here or the or the concentrates in here are going to be you know either distillate co2s um, I think those are the two if I'm not mistaken I could just yeah anyway so this one is a distillate uh, it doesn't really mean a whole lot other than if this was to break you could like put it on your tongue and it would still get you high um, as far as let's see so this gives you a little bit of more detail on what they have. So this is uh, pure cannabis terpene and distillate. Ooh, so that's kind of good. Pure cannabis terpenes are important to, to note because there's a lot of places that add extra terpenes or they add artificial terpenes into their products. If this is coming with from uh, pure cannabis terpenes, that means all the terpenes were cannabis derivatives, which means that you're getting the real medicinal thing and not something just made in a lab. So that is very important in my opinion. Um, to, to kind of note. With all that, as you guys know, I don't really, uh, I, I jump in front of the camera for these. Um, I did open this, but I mean, this is a cartridge, so there's not a whole lot to it. Um, I'll go ahead and just take it out, I guess. So this is what we got. Um, so it, it looks good. The distillate doesn't look like it has any freckles in it. Good, clear, you know, consistency. You can see right through that. Nothing weird in there. Uh, but with that, I'm really excited to go try it. And actually, I'm going to hop in front of the camera, try it, tell you guys the flavor, and then we'll go from there. Hey, guys, what's up? So I've been trying this out for a couple of days now. Or the, the cookie jar, by the way. <laughs> uh, for a couple of days now. And as you guys know, prior to this, I really haven't really done a whole lot of of reviews for cartridges some of the biggest reasons were I don't really like how a lot of them work um, a lot of them don't work they're hard to pull they either break they do all sorts of stuff that just it makes it more of a frustrating thing than just heating up my rig and you know taking a dab um, but for like I said for the last couple of days I, uh, I've been trying this one and one thing that I will know is it never, it has not clogged once. And I'm talking not once. I've had cartridges where you could leave it upright and the thing still clogs. It doesn't matter how, I don't know why or how that does or how that happens. But um, like this one hasn't at all in the last like three to four days that we've had it. So that's something that's really worth noting. Um, the other thing is I do like the mouthpiece. It, it's like a ceramic or like a... <clears throat> A glass I, I don't really know it's one of the two um, but it feels really nice I, I know that's weird to say it's got a good mouth feel um, but so those are the two things that I really enjoyed about this and probably a reason why if I find other like brands that carry this kind of stuff I'm gonna be more willing to pick those up now uh, but with that let me go ahead and try it and then I'll, we'll talk about the flavor and the high So as you guys can see, <coughs> oh, I love that flavor. So as you guys can see, <coughs> that was a pretty decent hit. I stopped it because I don't want to cough. So <coughs> the terpenes on this are so, so tasty. The flavor on this is really, really skunky and dank. Um, it has kind of like this pininess to it also, that, but it's like a sour, skunky pininess. It's all mixed together and and... I just really enjoy that. Um, I know that these are true terpenes versus like artificial or, you know, ec the way that they make this basically is they have, you know, they process their stuff and they have terp sauce that they save from other stuff. And that's how they infuse this stuff. So you're always going to get a nice full flavored like cannabis extract when you buy from this company. Um, I know that I don't like normally go this much into detail about this kind of stuff, but I'm just really excited because I, I'm 
I've sworn off of these for a year and a half. The whole time I've done reviews, I said I don't want to touch them. So I've just really been enjoying it for the last couple days. As far as the high is concerned, this thing is a knockout. It's something, that, again, it's really strong. It's something that it, you can have throughout the day and it does give you a still functioning kind of like hybrid. You are happy. It's almost euphoric, not quite. Um, but I will say that if you are a complete newbie to cannabis, you're going to want to take it easy. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not going to get much accomplished. Um, if you're one of those people that smoke after work or on the weekend, have fun, knock yourself out, and uh, yeah, let me know how you enjoy that. So with all that, if you guys enjoy what I'm doing, go ahead and hit that sub button. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you follow the page. This has been Recreational 420, and I'll be back again with you guys soon.